Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. At present, the Australian dollar remains somewhat vulnerable to challenge the region that's holding around 74 45 55 I feel from recently seen from this level, the market was hot, finding relatively good demand. However, with that being said, though, failing to hold there would actually see further losses and an extension down from 76.60 that's currently in place and looking towards this region around 73.90. The technical aspect, though, is somewhat negative. So let's see how the market plays into today's session. The euro is still holding to a negative case and therefore pushing slowly closer to its objective, which is seen around 107.50 area. I feel from there could see a rebound. We're getting a little bit low when it comes to the RSI, but it's still married up to a negative case. And with the ADX still trending in a good position to may see a strength for pattern emerging that should force the uh, potential of a slide that is towards this bottom side of the range. Dolly Yen finding a little bit of a bear case coming through here as the market is struggling towards these highs around close to 123.5 to 124. We did get to 124.22 this morning but found good supply emerging and actually seeing a downturn quite sharply. Technically though, it still remains somewhat heavy. I'm in view the market's in a prime position for a move back to 121 and a half, given from the technical aspect and with the ADX now getting very overheated, should see this move very soon. It was a little bit of a lackluster price action when it comes to sterling as it goes move sideways but still currently holding around that 130 70 level and the base holding around 130 figure 30. I like this pattern in terms of the fact is that you should eventually see an up test towards the top side that comes in around 133 as a broader call. Still seeing relatively good demand coming through for sterling kiwi since the uh, bullish divergence finally kicking in Along with that uh, weak hammer that came through with the Japanese candlestick, looks towards 190. A break above there would give further scope to 192 and then reassess from there. Gold still traveling sideways. We stood around this 1920.30 area with a cap around 1940.45. I'm keeping a little bit of a close watch on this MACD just in case we get um, a little bit more of a rise that would support a further up case and therefore see a re-challenge of that top side that's finding good supply around 1,945. In light of the pattern though, the broader aspect still gives a call towards 1,900 and reassess from there. And finishing up with oil, well the market nearly got to its objective overnight which was $92 to 93 a barrel as you can see here, the market plummeted rather sharply overnight but found good demand at the bottom of its range. I still feel there's a possible case of another down test and therefore could see a challenge at this level around 93 or around 92 and a half and then reassess from there. Well that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. Please keep a look out for the interday report and the end of the day wrap.